Hey, Jasmine, I just got off work. What do you mean? I worked half of Sunday, right? I guess this is my compensatory day off. Oh, I see. Well then, can I ask you to do some shopping? What? Why should I go shopping on my compensatory day off? Why are you talking like that? I'm just asking you to do some shopping. I'm going to my parents' house now. What's wrong all of a sudden? Well, I haven't seen my mother for a while, so I thought I'd check in on her. Oh, I see. Unexpected random kindness, is it? What do you mean, unexpected? I care about my mother, you know. I send her a Mother's Day present every year. I send her a bouquet of flowers on her birthday every year. When I get a bonus, I treat her delicious meal. I treat my mother well. You know, I'm the one doing all that. Shut up. What you're doing is the same thing I'm doing. Whatever. If you're going to your parents' house, you should bring some of her favorite snacks. She likes new snacks, you know. I think she'll be happy if you bring something new, don't you? Oh, yes. That's right. I'll look for it at the department store near the station. Isn't it a pity that you work so hard for my mother? Even though she hates you so much, you always remember to take care of her. In a way, I admire that. What? Your mother hates me? I don't think so. What? Didn't you know that she hates you? You're easygoing, aren't you? She and I both have cool personality, so we're easy to get along with. I've never felt like she hated me. Well, you're lucky if you feel that way. It must be a shock to you to think that she hates you. Well, I'll tell her that I bought her a pastry box because of your thoughtfulness. So, I'm going to stay over there today. Okay. Hey, Henry. Did you get to your parents' house already? I just called to see how you were doing. How's your mother? Oh, I arrived safe and sound. She's been a bit of a mess with all the traveling, but she's doing fine as usual. Sounds good. You don't really care, do you? What? Mom and I are shopping at the mall right now. I'm kind of busy, so I'll call you later. Don't call me every time for something stupid. Mom's mad at you, too. Why? She wants me to divorce you because you're so inconsiderate. What do you mean? I don't understand. Nobody wants to be disturbed at a family reunion, you know? She's not the kind of person to get upset over something like that. I know she's always cool, and she's not the kind of person who enjoys a company like that. What? You don't know my mother well enough to know what she's like. She's not cool when she's with me. Everyone has two sides. Hmm. She doesn't seem like that kind of person to me. She's always so dignified. I think she's just treating you as one ordinary son. I like that about her. What is it with you? Are you saying I'm lying? She's my mother, so I know her better than anyone else. Hmm. You still have a doubt? Then I'll let you talk to her. What? Hi, Jasmine. I haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I am now talking to Zoe, right? It's hard to tell over WhatsApp text. Yes, that's correct. I'm not good with all the gadgets, so I don't even use a smartphone, and I don't have WhatsApp. I see, I understand. You can't believe your own husband? I was looking at this text. I don't know if it's right for a married couple to doubt what their husbands say. Oh. And just when we were enjoying our mother and son reunion? What is it with you for interrupting it like this? You're an adult now. I expect you to be considerate. If you can't care about Henry, I'll have to ask you to consider divorce. What? I'll let you talk to Henry now. Fine, I get it. So, 
Don't contact me anymore because she's angry too. Is it Henry again? Yeah, that's right. So it's not Zoe anymore, right? That's right. You're such a pain. Is she a magician or is she a psychic? Huh? What a stupid thing to say. I'm going to end this text because my mom's mad at me for taking so much time on WhatsApp. I'm with Zoe right now. What? Who is this woman I'm with? Is she her twin? A clone? Or is she using magic to go back and forth instantly? Are you kidding me? Come on, Mom's already pissed off. Mom? Who the heck is there? Huh? What do you mean? I'm shopping with her right now. You're trying to trick me, aren't you? What do you think you're doing? I can't believe I was a twin. I'm surprised myself. I'd like to meet her. Is it you, Mom? Yes, it is. How many more of me are out there in this world? And you said I don't have a phone and I don't have WhatsApp? Well, yes. I do have a smartphone and I use WhatsApp too. I'll text you from my account to prove it. Just wait a minute. Is this Henry? It's your mother. Can you see the message? Huh? What is all this? It means I can text you. By the way, Jasmine and I have exchanged contact information. We don't talk often, but sometimes we text. Just to give her an update on what's going on. Are you really my mother? Yes, I am. I'm with Jasmine right now. We were just talking about going to a nice restaurant for dinner tonight. I'm so glad she saved me. Wait a minute. What do you mean? I don't understand. I came here to see my friend from high school, Mary. You remember her, right? Oh, she lives there now? Yes, she does. It takes two hours by bus to get here, so it's hard for me to see her. But since it's a two-hour bus ride, we decided to take the plunge and meet up. I see. It was really fun seeing her for the first time in a few years. After we parted on good terms, I was heading to the bus stop to go home. The light at the intersection on the main street was about to turn red. So I ran. I hadn't ran in a long while, and my legs got tangled up. I fell down in the middle of the intersection. What? I was so embarrassed that I got up right away. When I finished crossing the crosswalk, my legs were tingling, my stockings were ripped, and my knees were bleeding and my skirt was torn. It was like from heaven to hell. I was a wreck all of a sudden. Seriously? On top of that, my heel broke and I had to limp around on my feet. It's embarrassing to walk to the bus stop in such a mess. My feet were aching. Even if I could get on the bus, you can imagine the misery I'd be in, can't you? So I had no choice but to call Jasmine, and she came right away. I see. I told her what happened. It was about two hours after you texted her to let her know that you were coming to my home. I see. So that's what happened. But you never said anything about coming to my home, did you? I just checked the chat history, and it looks like you didn't even contact me two hours ago either. Right. But maybe it's my age, or maybe I'm just forgetful these days. I thought maybe I just don't remember. I asked Jack, who lives across the street, to take a look at my house. But he said there was no sign of you coming home. He checked on the house several times. I see. I should have said hello to Jack. You were out of town, so I was just chilling at a nearby cafe. What? You told Jasmine you were shopping with me at the shopping mall. I know exactly what you told her. That... I know... Henry, stop lying. What do you mean you were going back to my home and stay overnight? And you talk like I don't think well of Jasmine. What are you doing and where are you? 
I just wanted to come visit you. What's wrong with the son going to see his mother? Isn't it natural? Yes, it is. I would be glad if you really think so and act like it. But your explanation to Jasmine and your actions don't make sense, do they? It's not right, no matter how you look at it. It's for a variety of reasons. Can you tell me what they are? No, I don't think you would understand. I'm your mother. I think I can understand. No, I mean... Jasmine is saying something. What? She said she's got some important information. What important information? Hi, Henry. Can I talk to you for a minute? What is it? You're cheating on me, aren't you? Huh? What are you saying all of a sudden? It's true that my explanation may not match my actions, but I don't think you should assume that I'm cheating on you. That's what I thought too, so I looked into it as soon as possible. What? You have been staying in a hotel lately because of work, right? That's why I thought you might be staying out overnight for work, so I called your company. Huh? Why are you acting so selfish? The person who responded to my inquiry was willing to look into it. He told me that employee schedules are centrally managed so that all employees can check them. Your company's employee management is wonderful, isn't it? Yes, but... You definitely took a Sunday off. Of course I did. There's no way I would lie. But that wasn't all. Huh? You were supposed to spend two nights with me at a company retreat, two hours away by car. That's... There must be some kind of mistake. No, sir. I even checked with the manager of the recreation center. He said that there is indeed an employee and his wife staying there under your name. But I'm with your mother now, right? And I'm not even driving there. What does this mean? Well, uh, it means... I'm going to have dinner with your mother. I can't afford to go to the recreation center to stay the night, can I? What does this mean? I have no idea, so will you please explain it to me? I don't know anything. Maybe the scheduling system is having a temporary glitch. That can't be it. They checked for other employees just to be sure. Nobody else had a wrong schedule. How am I supposed to know that? Don't do something on your own and then ask me to explain it to you. Bye. Hey, Jasmine. There's a department head from the company at the recreation center. What's going on? I don't know. How would I know about the head of your department? I just ran into him when I finished eating breakfast. So? It was you, wasn't it? What are you going to do about it? It wasn't me, but... The person who handled my inquiry the other day was someone named Kevin. Maybe he has something to do with it. It's Director Kevin. The person you spoke to on the phone was the department manager. Oh, so that's why. When I called, I was told that there's a rumor going around that you and the woman at the reception are getting along well and that I should be careful. What? Kevin told you that? Maybe he thought your vacation this time was suspicious and went to the recreation center. That's a lie, right? According to Kevin, the other woman is hot and only 24 years old, right? He even knows that much? It sounds like it. Maybe he went there to get the proof of it. <laughs> what for? I don't know. I think the company has its own rules, don't you think? You might want to check the Articles of Incorporation to lessen the shock. You... Hey, Jasmine, how are you doing? Of course I'm fine. Actually, I called you to ask a favor. What? Would you reduce my alimony... It seems that the Articles of Incorporation states that 
there is a prohibition against adultery in the company. And so, I had to resign for violating the rules. Oh, I knew it. That's what happens when you make a move on a young girl like that. I wouldn't mind getting back together with you. I'd rather be back than live like this with no money. What do you mean you'd rather be back with me? Don't be silly. What? I'd really like to avoid paying alimony. That's impossible. You were crazy about the receptionist, weren't you? That's why you even lied to me and tried to meet her, right? You thought if you caused problems with my relationship with your mother, it would get us divorced, and therefore you could avoid paying alimony, right? What? I know this is very unfortunate, but your mother and I were on good terms, and we even exchanged WhatsApp. That's the thing. Why didn't you tell me that you and mom were exchanging WhatsApp? It's not that I didn't tell you. We exchanged it in front of you at a dinner party before we got married. What? Was it? You don't remember anything about our marriage? It's all in the past for you. No, that's not it. I'm cool and so is your mother. So basically, it's a hassle to get in touch with each other on WhatsApp. So we don't communicate often. But we'd at least give each other updates on what's going on. I know it's late to say this, but... Oh no, you really won't consider a reduction in alimony? It's obvious, isn't it? Listen to yourself. Just sign the divorce papers and pay the alimony, okay? Wait a minute. Jasmine. Jasmine? Will you pick up the phone, please? Hey, why are you calling so early in the morning? You're insane. I have to leave for work in a minute. Please. I know it's my fault, and I know the divorce is inevitable, but just reconsider reducing the alimony. I'm really broke. I don't care if you're broke. I paid a lot of money to that woman. That's why I lost my savings and everything. Please, have some mercy and please reduce the alimony. Stop pestering. I would never do that. Jasmine, answer the phone, please. You're really bothering me every single morning. I don't even have a place to live. I went back to my parents' house yesterday, and my mom refused to let me in. I'm sure she did. I wouldn't blame her. What? Your mother told me. She told me that your parents divorced because your father cheated on her. She said you did the same thing as your father. Is that so? I said to her that she would feel safer if I stayed with her instead of living alone. So that's why she yelled at me so hard. Your mother said that a man who commits adultery is unforgivable. She said you are like your father, only in a weird way, and that you are really pathetic. So she said she'd turn you away if you came to her house. She even told me that she was going to break off our relationship. She told me never to contact her again. She said I should take responsibility for my own actions because I brought this to myself. Well, I think that's the right opinion in general. I don't think she did anything wrong. Don't talk to me like I'm a stranger. But I'm already a stranger to you. It's none of my business what happens to you. How am I supposed to live from now on if I don't have money? I guess the first thing you have to do is find a new job. I'm asking for help because I can't get a job right away. I don't even have enough money to eat tomorrow. Then why don't you look for a job which comes with a dormitory? Huh? You could start there and then upgrade when you have enough money. Hey, don't make it sound like it's someone else's problem. I have pride too, you know? Don't talk to me about pride. You have no money, right? You don't have a place to live, right? Then why don't you just start from where you are? Please don't depend on me or your mother. We have nothing to do with you anymore. 
Oh, no. It's you, not anyone else who brought this to yourself, okay? You'd better reflect on it and think things over while you live your life. Well then, take care of your alimony payment. Wait a minute. I said I have no money. How do you expect me to pay alimony? Jasmine! I don't care. After that, I submitted the divorce papers to the city office, and the divorce was officially granted. Henry and the cheating partner paid me alimony, and I was free. He had been complaining so much that he wanted a reduction in alimony. But when I threatened to go to court if he didn't pay, he agreed to pay it in one lump sum. He must have had savings. He lied to me until the very end. Zoe became even angrier and declared that she would not give him any of her inheritance. When Henry was informed of this, he got down on his knees with tears in his eyes. He went down to the bottom, and the woman with whom he had an affair dumped him easily. Well, that's not very attractive, is it? Zoe and I continue to text as good acquaintances now. We are planning to have dinner soon for the first time since the divorce. Nicole, you're keeping something from me, aren't you? What do you mean? Don't pretend like you know nothing about it. Honoria, what's wrong? Why did you say such a thing out of the blue? I heard that you're pregnant. Our values are just too different from each other, and I can't take it anymore, so I want you to get out of my life. Don't you ever show your face again. Please stop joking. Did you ask Carson about my pregnancy? I wanted to tell you myself. You don't have to give birth to that baby. Pack up your stuff and leave as soon as possible. What's the matter with you, Honoria? I've only been married to Carson for six months. I was against it when both of you got married. I didn't want my son to have a wife like you. Because we don't have the same values. It doesn't matter if you've been married for six months or a year. I know you were against our marriage when we met each other for the first time. But your husband was happy. He said that I'm a lovely wife for his son. And now that I'm actually living together with him, I'm enjoying it. Maybe not for you, but for me. It's a torture. The food you make tastes awful. You can't even clean properly. You're useless as a wife. Please don't say such horrible things. I'm going to be a mother too. I will work harder from now on. I won't be able to sleep because the baby will be crying in the middle of the night. If I don't have enough sleep and become unwell, are you going to take responsibility for that? For your information, I hate children. But you gave birth to Carson, didn't you? I don't think that you hate children. That's why I only gave birth to Carson. My husband wanted to have more children, but I refused. But people say that grandchildren are special. I'm sure you'll change your mind and will think that they're adorable. Huh? You think the baby you're going to give birth to is cute? That's absolutely not true. What are you going to do if they have eyes that look like acorns? You don't have to worry about that. Acorns or not, I'm sure they'll be cute. Do you have any idea how stressful it is to live with someone you don't like? You need to think about my circumstances too. I understand that it must be a little bit stressful when you're living with other people. But as time goes by, I think we can gradually become a happy family. Stop it. I hate you for being a positive thinker. Positive thinking is my greatest talent, so it can't be helped. Listen to me seriously. I don't think I can share your values anymore. You are going to leave this house, okay? As soon as possible. I don't want to do that. I'm pregnant with a child of my beloved husband. He's the love of my life. Why should I leave? I want to give birth to this baby and live a happy life together as a family. Well, if you won't listen to me, I won't give you any mercy. Prepare yourself. 
What are you going to do to me? I won't stop my attack on you until you decide to leave. I'm pregnant, so please be merciful to me. I refuse. Honoria, are you serious about what you just told me? You talk too much, you know that. I'm going to make you regret that you disobeyed me. I'm Nicole. I'm 27 years old and I'm working as a manicurist. Six months ago, I got married to Carson, who is the same age as me, and we moved in together at my husband's request. My mother-in-law is a bit cold, but I felt that she is not a bad person. My father-in-law is a very nice man, and I can get along well with him. I was excited to give birth to my baby here, and I thought it would be even more fun. I never imagined that my mother-in-law would say something horrible like that. She only speaks to me when necessary, and I don't know what she's thinking about. But I know that she is not a bad person, so I am very shocked when she was being rude to me. In fact, she was serious and attacked me in every way she could to get rid of me. I sent all your stuff back to your parents' house. What? Why did you do that? When you come home from work, not a single piece of underwear will be there. No makeup, no change of clothes, nothing. So you don't have to go back to this house anymore. What have you done, Honoria? My parents live in Texas. Of course I know that. It's too far for you to go and get some things back. Maybe I can stop the delivery if I call the delivery company now? I'll give it a try. Which delivery company did you use? I won't tell you. Honoria, you've gone too far. It's terrible. Just because you don't like me, you didn't have to do that. Buy the plane ticket for Texas and go back to your parents' house. I told you to get out of this house as soon as possible, didn't I? I'm pregnant. I'm definitely not leaving. What? Stop saying the same thing over and over again. I can buy new clothes, underwear, cosmetics anyway. I have more than enough to live on for now. I already know you're going to say that. I won't let you win. I'll fight back for the sake of my baby. I don't care about that. By the way, how can you fight back if you can't enter the house? What do you mean? I changed the locks. I can't believe you went that far. You've crossed the line. My husband is staying with a distant relative for a memorial service, and Carson is on a business trip and won't be back for three days. No one will help you. Please, give me new keys. I'd rather give it to a thief than to you. Why did you do this to me? Do you hate me that much? I told you we don't share the same values. Do you like cockroaches? I've never seen anything like that before when I was little. So when I saw one for the first time, I was impressed. What about snake? I don't like snakes. That's what I mean. I don't understand. You don't want to live with a snake every day, do you? Absolutely not. Me too. Are you telling me that I'm a snake? I feel disgusted whenever I thought about it. To me, you are the same as a snake. It's shocking that you just said that to me. How rude of you. Will you get out of here? I understand. Don't tell anyone about this. If you dare to tell my husband and son that I kicked you out, I'll haunt you for the rest of your life. But I have to tell my husband. I can't just leave without telling him. Just tell him that you don't like him anymore or that you have found another man. You can say whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I don't want to lie. Oh, really? If your parents' house was on fire or something, you'd be sad too. Are you threatening me? Threat? How insulting. It's just a metaphor. I had no idea that you are such a horrible person. I'm scared of you. 
Is that so? I feel better now. Tomorrow I'll have my peaceful days back. I see. Don't make a fuss about child support since it might not be Carson's child. The child will be born and raised safely. I don't need your help with child care. Oh, well, that will be great. It's none of my business anymore, then. Thank you for your support until this day. Hurry up and go away! Honoria, we need to run away. Huh? Anyway, just take your phone and wallet and leave the house as soon as possible. What is this all of a sudden? I don't get it. Are you telling me that you haven't gone back to your parents' house? We'll talk about that later. Just hurry up. Do you understand? There's a cab on the corner to your right as you exit the house. Get in it right away. I don't know what you mean. There's no way I can do that. You're going to run away from your husband and Carson with me. What? I know everything. Who told you? Just hurry up. Your husband is coming back. Okay, wait a minute. I'll get ready soon. Did you get in? Did they find you? I hope you're okay. You didn't get caught or anything, right? Please reply, Honoria. I'm fine. I'm inside the cab now. Thank God. By the way, where should I go? Your daughter's house. What? Your daughter, Stella's house. How did you know about her name? I've been keeping her existence as a secret. Tell me, who told you about Stella? I met her yesterday in front of my house. Did she come to our house? I told you to stay away from her all that time, didn't I? I heard everything. I couldn't believe it. She said that she had been beaten up by her own family members just because she wasn't a male heir. That's why you helped her, right? Yes, I let her go. From the violence of my husband and Carson, she's my precious daughter. That's what Stella said. She said it was terrible. My husband could only think of women as nothing more than livestock. Carson, who grew up watching his father's back, thought the same way and used to beat me and my daughter together. It was really bad. Why didn't you just divorce him? I had never worked, and I wasn't sure I could survive on the outside world. Even if I left the house with Stella, if my husband and son found me, it would be the end of our life. So I thought I'd at least protect Stella. That's just too much. I did my best to protect Stella until she graduated from college. I made her spend as little time at home as possible with her club activities and part-time job. I was the target of my husband and son's abuse, but I was happy since I could protect my daughter. Honoria, that's too much to bear. I put on a show with my daughter. The day she graduated from college, I yelled at her to get out and I kicked her out. I pretended to insulate her. By doing that, it's just natural that no one knows where she lives and how to contact her. In fact, I barely kept in touch with her. I was worried about her, but I couldn't let my husband and son find her. You did the same thing to protect me. My phone is strictly monitored by my husband. I used a payphone to call Stella. I can't believe I have to sneak around whenever I want to keep in touch with my own daughter. We are mother and daughter. Even when I received a call from the wrong number, my husband would suspect that I was cheating on him and beat me up. What would he do to me if they found out about Stella? It's terrible. I can't forgive him. To that man, anything was good enough reason for him to get his hands on me. The shower isn't hot enough. The toilet paper was out, and he would kick me every time he has a chance. I was his sandbag to release his stress. I thought he was a kind man. It's unbelievable. But then you came along. Yes. It was the same with me. My husband was nice to me until the baby is born. Why is that? Because he wants a male heir. 
Besides, women put their children first, so they can't get divorced easily. Indeed. If you gave birth to your baby, you'll go through the same suffering. And if my grandchildren suffer from the same thing, just thinking about it makes me feel that I want to faint right away. You are your parents' precious daughter, and I can't let my husband and son hurt you. I had to make sure she managed to run away. That's what I thought. So it was your true reason. It wasn't because we have different values. You should have been honest with me from the beginning. Let me ask you this question. Will you believe my story when you saw those two kind men laughing so peacefully every day? No, it might have been impossible. That's how kind your husband was. He's amazingly good on the outside. Everyone tells me what a wonderful husband I have. On the outside, I think so too. What about Carson? Maybe he's a victim in a way too. But the fact that he and his father verbally abused me and hit me together is unforgivable, even though he's my own son. You didn't scold him? If I did that, he would immediately report it to his father and I would just get scolded. Seriously? I never noticed. I think I'm not a good judge of men. It's not your fault. He's wearing a perfect mask to hide his true personality, so there's no way that anyone can see through it. It's too much to bear. I feel sad. I'm really sorry, but I'm glad it turned out this way. Carson will probably turn on you someday. Before that happens, you should run away from him. But still, you lied to me to let me run away. If I told you the truth, you wouldn't have run away alone since you were worried about me, right? That's why I didn't. I won't leave you behind, Honoria. That's why I'm still trying to get you to leave that house. I appreciate your kindness, but I'm going back home after I see my daughter. I think my husband and son will go crazy with me gone. Then they might drag you back in too. What are you talking about? Now that I'm gone, you are their only target. That's why. As long as I'm their only target, they won't mess with you or my daughter. It's enough for me alone to suffer this. I won't let you sacrifice yourself for the sake of me and Stella. I'm used to it. As long as you girls are safe, that's all that matters. I don't plan to live long either. And if I can be of use to someone, I can at least feel that my birth was worthwhile. Anyway, just run away with Stella. Don't give up on life yet, Honoria. What? You are still 60 years old. There are many fun things to come. You can even see your grandchildren. As long as you leave that house, you can find a way to be happy. Let's think about being happy. Nicole. Stella is waiting for you. Take your time and talk to her. Where are you now? I'm going to get rid of the main villains. I need to talk to you guys. Where are you, Nicole? I've been searching for you since yesterday. You went out without telling us. We were worried sick about you. That's right. We called you many times. We even searched the whole neighborhood. You should at least call us. Silence. What did you say? Do you have any idea whom you are talking to? That's right. You shouldn't be rude to Dad. What's with you all of a sudden? I told you to shut up, villains. Both of you use violence against women to take control of them. What do you mean? I know everything. I can't forgive you people. Don't tell me it's my mother. Did she tell you everything? I don't know. It's got to be that old hag. She let Nicole go, just like she let Stella go. She's always doing things she doesn't need to. What a stupid old hag. Looks like she hides our toys again. Huh? Toys? What do you mean? I was going to take good care of you until you gave birth to a male heir. But that won't be necessary anymore. I'm not giving birth to your male heir. 
That baby is mine. Give the baby to me after you give birth. I won't let you have the baby. I won't let a psycho like you raise my child. Never. The child will be unhappy. If it's a boy, I'll definitely risk my life to get the baby back. He's our male heir, you know. But first, both of you are going to jail. What? Are you crazy? Don't make me laugh. You got any proof? I check my wife's phone all the time. There's no videos or pictures. Too bad. I have a medical certificate and a testimony. Testimony? Whose testimony? You didn't see what happened. Don't be so sure. It's your neighbors and your daughter, Stella. You can't run away anymore. Stella? You know where she is? Even if I knew where she is, I won't tell you. Dad, it's bad enough for us if Stella is involved. Two of them and two of us. You and I have higher social reputations than they do, son. Don't worry about it. Huh? Oh, I see. You're right. That's my dad. Do you understand, Nicole? No matter what you do, it's useless. Don't be silly. Are you guys blind? What? I wrote neighbors, didn't I? Don't you know what that means? The neighbors heard someone screaming from our house and that's about it. You know that there's a reclusive shut-in living next door, right? I think his name is Martin or something. He's an overweight guy whose age is over 40 years old. He was a die-hard fan of Stella. Seriously? Anyway, let's put his perversity aside for a moment and get back to the main point. He was snooping around that house all the time until Stella entered college. No way. Every time I hung the laundry out, he'd look at me, and that's quite creepy. But when I asked him if he'd seen anything fishy in the house, he told me everything. I guess he felt guilty about stalking Stella. Who's going to believe something from a shut-in like that? If it's a testimony, maybe, but he has solid proof. Instead of reporting him to the police for stalking, we were able to get a large amount of videos from him. It's more solid evidence than anything else. You're lying. It's not just Stella. There were many videos of Honoria being beaten. You guys are really terrible. Do you know what you've done? Dad, I think this is bad. Carson, calm down. You guys are toast. How much should we pay you? Huh? You want money, right? I'll buy those videos from you. Do you think I'm a materialistic woman? I don't need your money. Don't act tough. I know that all you want is money. Don't think you can just run away after making your wife and daughter suffer. I fed them for free. How can they be suffering? They should be thanking me. I don't know where you are in the social hierarchy. I'm going to drag you down from there, so be prepared. I can't let you villains get away with this. You aren't capable of doing that. Just obey us and give birth to a male heir. What if the baby is a female? We only need a male heir. I'm sorry, it's a baby girl. Really? No kidding. So you don't want the baby, right? You just said that you only need a male heir, didn't you? I thought it was a baby boy. Too bad, it's a baby girl. That's enough. Ditch that woman and find another wife, Carson. Yes, I will, Dad. I won't let you do that. You two are going to be on the top page of morning newspaper as the devil father and son in spectacular fashion. Prepare yourselves. Don't report us to the police. That's right. Listen to your husband, stupid wife. Hurry up and give us that video. Apologize now and I'll let you off the hook. You're the one who should apologize. Well, I don't think apologizing is enough anyway. Hey, Dad, shouldn't we just apologize and get the videos? We'll be in trouble if we don't do that. Idiot. A gentleman does not apologize easily. 
Well, I need to take Honoria to the hospital, get a medical report, and then report to the police. I'm going to be busy. As for Stella's case, the statute of limitations has long expired. It's been ten years since she left. You're wrong. It's only been nine years. You can't even remember the day your daughter disappeared, can you? That's just unbelievable. Well... As for Honoria, her wounds and bruises are fresh, so you guys are totally toast. I have plenty of evidence. Hey, you stupid wife, stop it. You'll regret it in the end if you dare to report us to the police. Dad, don't be hard on her. Let's just apologize. No, my pride won't let me. You don't want to get caught, do you? I'm not gonna get caught. Yeah, whatever. I'll make sure that both of you get arrested. Police arrested both Carson and Jasper for domestic violence. When the police came to the house, Jasper was shouting like crazy. He was still being proud of himself even under such circumstances. I laughed when the shut-in neighbor shouted back, telling him that Jaspar was just a section chief at a small company. Martin, you did a great job. Stella has decided not to charge Martin for stalking her in the past, so there was no blame to be placed on him. I made Martin write a written pledge not to do the same thing again to Stella. My mother-in-law and I have asked for a lawyer and are proceeding with the divorces. Honoria, who's now completely free from her husband and son, has decided to fight and will testify in court. It's a natural thing to do. May the pain she endured for nearly 30 years be repaid. Now, Honoria and Stella are living together. I asked my parents to send my stuff back to me, and now I'm living near Honoria and Stella. They are reassuring me that they will take care of me after the baby is born. By the way, it was a baby boy. Carson and Jasper are going to be so disappointed. I'll never let them see him anyway. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.